Welcome to Sarah Sports 101. My name is Kwesi Son Bako. This week, we mark the fourth anniversary of the passing of Nigerian legend Rashidi Yakini. For soccer fans who were following the African game in the 90s, the name Rashidi Yakini would definitely be one that you recognize. Born in Kaduna, Nigeria, Yakini started his career playing for local sites before moving to the Ivory Coast to play with Africa Sports. After a brief spell, he moved to Portugal to play with Vitoria de Setubal. In Portugal, he became the Primeira Liga's top scorer in the 93-94 season with 24 goals in his basket. In the same year, 1993, he was named the African Footballer of the Year, a title that only Ghanaian legend Abedi Ayupele had held prior to him. He had brief stints with Olympiacos and Sporting Vigan played for the team that gave him his shine and soon found his way back to Setubal. Failing to recover his previous form, however, Rashidi Yekini left for another round of stints with FC Zurich, Club Athletic Brezatine and Al Shabab Riyadh before finally retracing his steps back to Africa Sports. In the year 2003, the 38-year-old Yekini returned to Nigeria to play in the league for Lagos-based Julius Berja FC. On the international front, Yakini featured prominently for the Super Eagles, scoring 37 goals in 58 appearances. Nigeria's 1994 Africa Cup of Nations victory can largely be attributed to him. He's also credited with scoring Nigeria's first ever goal at the World Cup in a 3-0 defeat of Bulgaria at the Mundial in USA 94. The celebration that followed that goal has become the most memorable image of the legendary striker and made it to Goal Magazine's top 50 most memorable World Cup celebrations of all time. In his last days, however, the story told of this illustrious son of Nigeria did not match his achievements. Many stories were told of a Yakini trudging the streets of Abuja talking to himself. Friends say he spent his last days as a poor and bitter man due to an ill-advised investment he made in which a trusted friend made away with his fortune. Others blame his death on the decline that hit his career towards the end. Former teammate Sandy Olisa remembers how he felt after he was booed off in a World Cup game. He is believed to have lived with that incident for the rest of his life. He died of depression, friends say. After his death, a couple of streets have been named after him, notably in Iloran and Abuja. The Nigerian Professional Football League has also named the top scorer award in the domestic league after him. Some, however, think that a more befitting memorial would be naming one of Nigeria's national stadiums after the man Rashidi Yakini. Come to think of it, the Rashidi Yakini Sports Stadium actually sounds like a good name for any stadium in Nigeria. This has been Sarah Sports 101. Catch you next week with more sports. Until then, my name is Kwesi Son Bakun. Peace, love, every time.